Today we are in Huntington, West Virginia, visiting the grave of Broadway star and early television actress, Dagmar. Born Virginia Ruth Egner in 1921, the actress who had become known as Dagmar achieved the classic story of a small town girl making it big. Born in Yawkey, West Virginia, Dagmar had moved to New York with her husband who was a naval officer stationed on Long Island. Although she became a fashion model in 1944, she was encouraged to audition for two comedians who worked on Broadway. Dagmar was cast in the Broadway show Laughing Room Only. In 1946, Dagmar was once again cast on Broadway, this time as a chorus girl named Bubbles in the Broadway comedy Burlesque. She appeared alongside Burt Lahr, who became most famous for his portrayal of the Cowardly Lion. The show ran from December 25, 1946 to January 10, 1948. Then, in 1950, the relatively new medium of television came calling. NBC's first late night show was Broadway Open House. The host was Jerry Lester, who actually gave Dagmar her now famous stage name. While on the show, she was instructed to play the role of a stereotypical dumb blonde. With Dagmar's full beauty and figure on display, she very quickly became a hit with the viewers, soon attracting more attention than the host. Unlike her character, Dagmar was very smart and bright. Dagmar, being so captivating, soon saw herself with a pay increase. The elevated attention caused friction with Lester, who eventually walked off the show. Dagmar then became the host. And in preparation for this video, I actually did pull up some of Dagmar's performances, some of her television specials and such, and I'm going to be honest, I really enjoyed it. I thought she was funny and charming and quick-witted and really enjoyed watching her perform. Dagmar appeared on numerous shows in the early 1950s, becoming one of the leading personalities of the era. She appeared with Milton Berle, Bob Hope, on the Colgate Comedy Hour, and even with Frank Sinatra. She also appeared on the cover of Life magazine. She was the host of her own Saturday evening show on NBC called Dagmar's Canteen. After her television career began to fade, Dagmar made her way to Las Vegas to perform shows there. In an interview, Liberace once stated that Dagmar had given him his big break when she asked him to accompany her on her shows. Dagmar became a popular guest host on game shows such as Who Said That and Hollywood Squares. Although Dagmar experienced the bright lights of Broadway and the magic of Hollywood, her heart was always back home in West Virginia. Once her performing career was over, she moved to Cerrito, West Virginia to be close to her family. Dagmar died in Cerrito, West Virginia in 2001. In 2006, she was inducted into the West Virginia Broadcasting Hall of Fame. She was one of the first inductees. Dagmar is buried in Woodmere Cemetery in Huntington, West Virginia. I want to thank you all for watching today's video and I really enjoyed learning of Dagmar's story and of her career and I am constantly chasing interesting stories and I'd like to invite you all to come along. Search for Wit Docs on Facebook and Instagram. I'd love to hear from you. Please click on the subscribe button and then click the bell notification and join me on my journey. I'd love to have you. Thank you all and I will see you again soon. Mm -hmm.